Hey, Bruce here, the 5-Minute Handyman. I am putting in some shoe molding and want to show you how to do that. So let's take a look at some of the hardware and we'll talk about it. Um, love to have you subscribe to my channel so that you can see different tips and tricks on doing carpentry and plumbing and electrical work. And uh, we just love to have you as a subscriber. So uh, consider that as, as you watch through this video. Well, what we're doing here is we have a floor that is installed and um, the baseboard was already in and what we're going to do is put some shoe molding in to cover the gap that we have here between between the flooring and the baseboard. Uh, you can see we also have some gaps here between where the baseboard was installed. Um, so we're going to install this long run here and then uh, this run over here. Now let me show you what kind of trim we're going to be using. We have uh, shoe molding and shoe molding is very much like quarter round except it is narrower this way than it is tall. All right and we always want to install this with the narrow edge down on the floor. Well what that means is that we have to pay attention when we're putting our flooring in to have a, a small gap here. We can't um, be sloppy with our cuts Otherwise, we will um, end up having a gap between where the edge of the shoe molding is and the flooring. So we're going to end up cutting a 45 degree cut on this side, which is going to go into the corner. And then on this edge, we are going to cut a 30 degree angle. Okay, so that, uh, let's see if we can show both of these together here. Um, So this piece is a shallower angle and we just do that to uh, give it a little bit different look on this end. And so what we're going to have to do is, because this is a pre-finished piece of molding, uh, we're going to have to take some white paint and just dab it on the end here to, to make that white so that it looks all uniform. And so uh, what we'll do is... Um, uh, we'll measure this and then we'll go outside make our cuts and then come back inside and install them and finish up and so uh, there's two ways that we can do this to get our molding or a trim measured one way is to pre-cut one of the ends put it up into the corner and then we make a mark here where where we want to end and for for shoe molding typically what we do is we stop right at the door casing and so it'll be right at that edge and so I'll bring this in here make our mark and then I'm also going to do a little bit of an angle marking on here uh, just a very light mark here to remind me which which angle I'm going to need to to do you know which way I'm going to have to do it whether it's going to be this way or this way so that's one way to do it. The other way to do it is to take our tape measure, uh, push it into the corner, and then look at where the numbers are here. And on this one we are at uh, 10 and an eighth. And so I could either, um, either go ahead and pre-cut these, pre-cut one end, come in and, and measure them, uh, mark them, and then go back out and cut them again but that means I'm traveling twice as far because I'm coming in and out more often uh, so what I like to do is I like to take and do some measurements and what I'll do is I'll take a, a piece of wood or paper or something and I'll write down and I'll start like here and I will write down what the length is so it'll be ten and an eighth and then I will go ahead and measure this one this is one and an eighth and I'll write that down and then I'll go around the room so that once I go outside I can do all my cuts and uh, I, when I write these things down uh, what I'll do also is to so for example what I do is I have uh, ten and an eighth 
and what I'll do is I will do a code to tell me which side so on the left side I'm going to have a, a 30 degree angle so I'll circle a 3 and then I'll have I'll do a 4 on this side so I know that this is a 45 and this is a 30 and then this one was an inch and an eighth okay so then what I do is I do inch and one eighth and this is a 45 and this one is a 30 alright so this way I've got a, a convention that I can do and I can write all of these down and then I go outside and I make all my cuts and um, as I as I make my cuts I'm going to label them one on the back of my my piece here I'll take and I'll write a a one and I know that that's the first cut that I'm going to do it just saves a little bit of time saves a little bit of uh, walking and so uh, let me head outside I'll make uh, make some of these other measurements and uh, make some cuts off camera and then come on back in and show you how to install this.